is Blue Lizard Sunscreen safe? When it comes to choosing a sunscreen, safety is a top priority, both for your skin and the environment. So is Blue Lizard Sunscreen safe? Let's break it down. First, let's look at the ingredients. Blue Lizard Sunscreens are mineral-based, using zinc oxide and titanium dioxide as their active ingredients. These minerals act like tiny mirrors that reflect UV rays away from your skin, which is a great way to protect against UVA and UVB rays. One of the big selling points of Blue Lizard sunscreens is that they are free from oxybenzone and octanoxate, two chemicals known to harm coral reefs. However, just because these chemicals are absent doesn't necessarily mean the sunscreen is reef safe. For instance, titanium dioxide, if in nanoform, can still harm coral reefs by causing zooxanthal expulsion, leading to coral bleaching. Blue Lizard doesn't specify that their titanium dioxide is non-nano, which raises some concerns. For your skin, Blue Lizard sunscreens are generally considered safe, especially for sensitive skin. They are paraben-free and fragrance-free, which reduces the risk of allergic reactions and irritation. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends mineral sunscreens like Blue Lizard for sensitive skin because they are less likely to cause allergic reactions compared to chemical sunscreens. However, it's worth noting that mineral sunscreens can be a bit greasier and may leave a white cast on your skin. If you have oily skin, this might be something to consider. On the other hand, if you have dry skin, the moisturizing ingredients like beeswax, aloe, and vitamin E can be quite beneficial. In terms of usage, Blue Lizard sunscreens are designed for daily full body protection and are water resistant for up to 80 minutes. This makes them great for activities like swimming or sweating. Just remember to apply liberally before sun exposure and reapply as needed. So is Blue Lizard sunscreen safe? For your skin, it generally is, especially if you have sensitive skin. However, when it comes to reef safety, there are some concerns due to the potential use of nanotitanium dioxide. Always check the ingredients and look for certifications that ensure the sunscreen is genuinely reef safe.